Time now for the Educated Retirement Show with your host, Jay Kaplan. Jay discusses reverse mortgages and can answer your questions at 951-922-3532. Call lines are open at 951-922-3532. And now, here's Jay. Well, they are necessarily my opinions, so they are. So you're about to listen to those necessarily my opinions. Welcome, please, to the Educated Retirement Radio here on KMET 1490, where we contemplate retirement and how to best prepare for retirement and how to best stay successfully retired. Remember, absolutely meet requirements needs top off your tank so you can make it all the way we have our guest who is in las vegas coming up at the bottom of the hour and uh, if you want to drive to las vegas you better pot you better fill your tank i'm trying to think of how far it would be uh 250 miles from the inland empire ish i'm guessing let me know if i'm wrong uh so please call or email me please call or email me at uh 866-955-2233 there there you are and call anytime we can talk about anything you like and Don't forget the website at uh, drheckham.com, D-R-H-E-C-M.com. And that's for home equity conversion mortgage. And yes, I am the doctor. Which reminds me, I haven't worn my doctor's get up in a while. I better do that again soon. So also, you can find us at theeducatedretirement.com. Same name as this show. And remember... Email me. Just email me. Say hello. Best loan today at gmail.com. Why? Because the future is now. And uh, speaking of now, uh, the present has been made up of my second COVID shot, which I took on Tuesday at the Moderno. And the second experience was exactly the same as the first. No pain at all. I just thought I was one of those guys and one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Now, my wife had it like one day before me both times. Her arm hurt a little bit, but that was it. Other people I talked to, no problem whatsoever. And uh, knowledge is power. 866-955-2233. So, you know, jump over to the YouTube channel over there about halfway down the page and you can uh, pick up on all of these shows and the newer ones that don't show up there yet uh, just go to the live uh, button which takes you to the uh, KMET site and on the right side you can go uh, you can go down uh, on the right side there you'll see how to you know you'll see the uh, file bin there you can open up and see past shows of anyone over these last few weeks. And uh, my day job is at the Loan Source, NMLS number 384565, my Department of Real Estate. And again, you know that I don't sell real estate, is 792630. So yeah, I had the second shot. That means in two weeks I get to go nuts, right? I don't know about that, but I am gonna get out there a lot more than I have been. And uh, I just want to throw out a thanks, another thanks to Daryl McCants, who was my guest, my last minute stand in guest last week, who does recognize this show on each of his shows as me being on his advisory t- uh, team, along with Bill Morris of UCI. Uh, he really had a great show last week about the uh, Alpine Big Bear Zoo, where they uh, where they have grizzly bears and Daryl himself. Can't wait to get there. He had a Dr. Lewis uh, this week who talked about robotic cancer surgery. I found that very interesting on account of I just had robotic cancer surgery. He talked about how that allows people to uh, eat, to go right back out into an almost normal life. Almost, not exactly, but uh, 
you know, very interesting stuff, even frail people like me. And although I don't like to think of myself as frail, after being sick for about a year, after losing 100 pounds, I guess you would call me frail, even though I'm getting quite a bit better. See? <laughs> and if you remember me from old, and if you see those pictures that show up uh, on the video part, you'll st still see my fat, excuse me, my past self where I weighed 100 pounds more without the beard. And the beard is just to make up space for all that space I have lost. But today is National uh, Antique, to ask, National what? I didn't get that right. National Do Something With an Antique Day. And uh, National Admire. Cherish an Antique oh, Day. Oh, Cherish an Antique yeah. Day. So you're supposed to cherish an antique. Not necessarily me, however, but since I am an antique. It's National Gin and Tonic Day. Sean, do you like gin? Uh, not a big fan, no. You know, a lot of people are not, but I found myself that I actually did like it. Uh, you know, it's right there with vodka. You don't have to really... It's, it's more intense of a flavor, so I think it made a good martini. Now, since my surgeries and my uh, pancreatitis, I am not allowed any booze whatsoever. So, Sean, you're going to have to drink some for me. It's also, and I can tell you where to go, because today is also National Dive Bar Day. So, first thing that came to mind was that place in, uh, in, um, uh, what's, we're going to talk about uh, this in, in just a little Excellent. while. No, we're going to talk about uh, Goliath here pretty soon. And there's that bar, J, J, Chez J or whatever, which really looks like a great dive bar, except they supposedly have good steaks and things. I'm going to have to get out there as soon as I can get back out there. And uh, But the, first, the other thing is Al's Bar, downtown L.A. and the Arts District. That was back before it became an Arts District, which means it had more art. But, uh, boy, what a great place that was. I believe we saw the meat puppets there and several other things. The, the, you know, I could go on forever about Al's Bar, but so be it. Saw a Kerouac play in the parking lot. Well, anyway, this is the end of a, the Be Kind to Spiders week. It's a good thing I didn't know that earlier in the week because I don't think I was kind to too many of them. Uh, this is also National Grilled Cheese Sandwich Month. And that's for my wife and for me, Jazz Appreciation Month. And we'll be speaking more about that a little bit later. And Jack Webb will join us on that subject here soon today. So we do believe in challenging the status quo. And we believe that families and people need to be active, not reactive. So, whose birthday is it today? Jack Webb. He came into this world in 1920. Actually, last week. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I yeah. was going to read that, too. Uh, 1920 and left us in 1982. Now, he is someone we were going to talk about last week, but we ran out of time. So, I thought I'd move him closer. I'd move him and not forget about him. Because he is a big jazz fan. We are celebrating Jazz Week. Here's to you, Jack. He was an actor, director, producer, screenwriter, and uh, most famous for his role as Sergeant Joe Friday in the TV series Dragnet. Now, he grew up in the Bunker Hill area of Los Angeles, which is... You know, I only get to visit once in a while. But, uh, you know, Angel's Flight used to go up Bunker Hill, and there's so many scenes from uh, B-movies and film noir that have those scenes in it. In any case, his mother ran a boarding house there, and one of the tenants was a jazz musician who gave Jack a recording of Bix Benderbeck at the jazz band ball which started his interest in jazz i've got some binderbeck 
records, but I couldn't find them in time. That's a problem of having too many records. Although my son was here a week ago, wanted to hear uh, uh, Quincy Jones' juke joint, and I just looked at this uh, wall of thousands of records and was pretty much able to just pull it right out. So anyway, after his discharge from the Army, he found a shortage of radio announcers back in this country. So he was able to get his own radio show in 1946, and it was a comedy show. So in 1949, he left comedy and starred in a show called Pat Novak for Hire, which co-starred Raymond Burr. Now, you know, Jack had a great voice for radio for anything. And I'm sure that helped him get a, get his roles on the radio. His first movie role was in the, a film called He Walked by Night. Not They Lived by Night, but He Walked by Night, uh, where he portrayed a crime lab technician. And this gave him an idea for Dragnet. And that idea was the base stories on real cases and police files. The show started on the radio, which I didn't know, and played 1949 to 1957, pretty long run, and later picked up as a TV series from 1952 to 1959. Still with him, now George Finneman, the great actor from the original thing from another world, and ladies and gentlemen, the story he, he oh, and uh, You Bet Your Life Groucho with Marx. Groucho Marx. So. It was he who said, ladies and gentlemen, the story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. And like I said, of course, he was the sidekick of Groucho Marx on You Bet Your Life and even in The Thing. So uh, Jack was in movies like Sunset Boulevard. Uh, you know what? This is too soon, I think, here. So let's... I don't really remember him in Sunset Boulevard, but who needs to, really? Uh, if you're a big Jack fan, then you do. Okay. A movie called Dark City, which isn't the one that uh, I really love, the science fiction one from the, new, uh, the, the 90s. One called The Men. And, of course, Pete Kelly's Blues. We're going to get more into Pete Kelly's blues here in a minute. He also directed the film in an attempt to bring the music he loved to a broader audience. And uh, Pete Kelly's blues was also a radio show and a TV series for one season, which actually came, I believe, after the movie. Uh, it was his own hands that was featured in the Mark 7 logo. Da, 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 da. Remember the Mark 7 logo, which was his production company? And I thought that was kind of interesting. Yeah, there we go. I got it right now. And he had a record collection of over 7,000 jazz records, like me, an avid record collector. I may have about 8,000, but he had more jazz records. He was also a big baseball fan. And the number on his badge for Dragnet was 714, and that was the number of home runs written by ba written, drilled. That was the number of Home run, runs hit by Babe Ruth. Now, it's a little known fact that Babe's longest home run, I won't ask anybody, but maybe I should do maybe a $50. Uh, should I do one? Yeah, let me do one. Does anybody know the longest, where the longest home run that Babe Ruth hit was? Call in. You don't have to talk to me. Use any of those numbers, those things, and you'll get a $50 gift certificate. 
A hint was it was in California. That's a big hint. Anyways, Pete Kelly's Blues, the movie, received an Academy nomination for Peggy Lee as Best Supporting Actress and one Grammy for the Best Soundtrack Album. So let's get into Pete Kelly's Blues, which I think I have before. I I think the movie is good, uh, not great particularly, but here is the original soundtrack, or it says music from, which means it was done a little better than... This is a very heavy uh, record for the time. It's an LP, and if you know what LP means, it doesn't just mean long playing. It means it had a much different RIAA curve, uh, and it w isn't exactly uh, exactly uh, go along with today's stereos, but it sounds fine. And if you have a really highfalutin stereo, you can uh, fix that. Uh, here's another soundtrack. Actually, I have three different soundtrack or you know music from. And uh, this is another one with more vocals on it. And Peggy Lee on the cover. Of course, Ella Fitzgerald is also there. And if you notice, there's Peggy. And uh, there's Jack there in the corner, see? So we got them both. Um, this is... Laserdisc. What? Television? Laserdisc. Oh, no, this is another one of those. It's the Laserdisc, the movie. Ah, no, sorry about that. This is a Laserdisc of the movie. That's why I haven't seen it in a while, I guess. Laserdisc. Okay. And... Uh, here is music from the television show, all right? Cool back. Remember when backs of albums used to look more like that? I'm so glad albums are back. You know, they're like artwork you can actually touch and hold and feel. And there, we, there it is again. Okay, so Pete Kelly's Blues, we're going to have to, I mean, we're going to have to listen to those again and again. When I start playing them, I can't really stop. Especially the theme song uh, is really, really good. So I'm going to uh, suggest you listen to that. Now, we are getting on the verge of another birthday, but we have a couple of guests with us today. One is going to be Fergie from Las Vegas, from One Heart. And uh, then it's going to come back to me for probably 20 or 30 minutes, and we'll get into the more birthdays. And after that, we have a pre-recorded guest who's going to sing the blues also from One Heart. I thought that would be a good co a connection with uh, the singing, since we're talking about jazz right here. And we have more singing so we'll do that. We have live singing, as they say, in studio. Now, I can't tell you why, and maybe Sean could say, why do, can, why do they say in studio instead of in the studio? Do you know, Sean? Well, Sean better wake up because it's time sure. to go on a break anyway. Not sure. Okay, well, you know, but that's the way, that's the English language. What can I say? Anyway, Sean, why don't we take our normal break? And uh, see, I slowed things down away, so I would be ready for, uh, for our next guy. But yeah, let's take our break, and then we'll head out and join uh, Fergie in Las Vegas. So thanks a lot, everyone. Stay with us. We're only going to be gone for a couple of minutes. So take care. Bye-bye. engineer 
in Southern California, if not the country. And uh, so remember, Sean over here at KMET, he's the one. So if you need an engineer, oh, sorry, boys, but, you know, this is the one. But I don't want to lose them either. So remember, all you people out there, if you would like to call in, 951-922-3532, 951-922-3532. And uh, we can talk to Fergie, which is actually Fernando Vasquez. And it's, uh, uh, excuse me, it's it's Ferdinand. Ferdinand. It's what? Ferdinand. Oh, I'm sorry. That's Ferdinand. Fine. You're not, uh, it happens all the all the time. Well, so that makes me no different than anybody, huh? <laughs> and here, all this time, I thought I was different, but you yeah. know. In, in order to make up, I'll do this. So he will be with us for a little bit, and mm -hmm. I'll I'll give him a brief a brief introduction. But I want him to talk mostly about himself and his native Philippines. Uh, Ferdinand was a civil engineer. That means he keeps people civil. So he spent <laughs> years working in the public and private sac sector, uh, overseeing a variety of infrastructure projects. That's why you came to this country, because of our new infrastructure bill and mm -hmm. construction sites. And uh, after that, uh, found just a great, you know, a great new way to uh, make himself very, very important to others and supportive to the entire uh, community. So you actually moved to this country by supporting your wife's career as she became a registered nurse, correct? Correct, so yeah. Mm -hmm. this, and then a former, you were in uh, car rentals, I believe, at first. Was that correct? Yeah, before uh, I started to have yeah. my own business in the, here in Vegas, yeah. Yeah, so mm -hmm. now, how did you move to Las Vegas? Was that where your wife got her first job offer? Actually, we uh, she started in uh, Southern Florida, in Hollywood, uh, to be exact. Ah. Yeah, that's where we started, and um, we stayed there for less than uh, two years. Good. Okay. And uh, one of the reason why we moved is because uh, since our kids are very young during that time, and uh, I found out in that place that the um, it's uh, there's a high you know, um, percentage that, you know, most of your neighbors are sex offenders. So <laughs> I told my, wife, told my wife, let's get out of here. Anyway, anywhere you go, there's, there's sex offenders. There's Florida for you. So what can I say? Yeah. And uh, there's a high rate. So so we moved out and uh, we, we, we started going to Arizona, L.A. and Vegas, trying to find a place to, to you know, well, I do, and, like, I do like Southern California, but I, I believe a, a former schoolmate of yours suggested mm -hmm. uh, One Heart. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And his name is Arnold. Yeah. And, oh, uh, you, uh, same Arnold well, yeah. I know, huh? Yeah. 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 Okay. And uh, one thing I want to bring up now, and we won't talk, we'll talk about it later when we have more, is, you know, in the Filipino culture, uh, there's a, a place, I mean, there's a great importance is placed on caring for the elderly. And uh, since the franchise is focused on, on caregiving, this uh, made you very happy. But I really want to, you know, I noticed this so much about the Filipino community that I do not see anywhere else in the whole world. And I'd really like to get into some more of that, but that's not really for the show. But maybe we can have a forum about that. And, you know, because I wish more people were like that. What can I say? Yeah, actually, in a short note, in the Filipino culture, is uh, we were taught and we were told that to treat the elderly as our own. You know, we treat them as family. We respect the elderly and we took care of them so it's it's part of the culture we have a very high respect with the elderly and like i said we treat them as our own family 
Yeah. And uh, that's maybe one of the reasons why one of the most in-demand caregivers in the United States or even uh, in, in uh, any parts of the world are Filipino caregivers because of that. I think that's wonderful. Uh, but, you know, we're going to talk about One Heart and we're going to talk about caregiving in general. But still, I think this show is going to de dedicate a lot of itself to one thing that we talk about a lot with other older people and possibly retired people, people thinking about getting retired, is to stay busy. Yes. Whether you're retired mm -hmm. or not, I, I think if you're not, if you don't stay at home, you're not going to live as long. And that is, you know, as you would in a, you know, I, I hate to use the word nursing home, but that's kind of the, the other, the far end of that. There are places that are really better than that, almost resorts in a way, but still, if you live at home, you're going to live longer. And if you're going to live at home, you're going to need everybody at some time. If you live long enough, which hopefully you will, you're going to need a caregiver. And One Heart offers, I believe, and I'll let you talk more about it, a fairly low, fairly low startup cost. Mm -hmm. um, available prime territories and a hand on hands on coaching and extensive training. Mm -hmm. So you learned the business through the support of the franchise and immediately felt the, the, the benefits of the brand recognition because One Heart is so well known. So yeah. uh, I'll let you go ahead and talk a little bit more about that. And uh, mm -hmm. because we are going to talk and I know we're going to make Randy happy if we talk about franchising and that kind of thing. And how important <laughs> it is. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. to stay busy and how you can do it as an oldie and not have to work your brains off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So actually, with regards to choosing uh, one heart caregiver franchise is because aside from their in very impressive uh, track record when it comes to personal care, you know, here in Vegas, we call it personal care, like a quality pers in-home personal care. Because if if I'm gonna try on a standalone, like I will start from scratch, and then I will I will promote my my my, my company as let's say uh, Ferdinand's caregiver. Well, who is that? So there's no recall, there's no brand recognition and things like that. So for me, it's leave, you have two steps ahead when you use the 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 brand, especially with good track records. Because in back in the Philippines. I have a franchise too, and it's a FedEx franchise. It's a mail and more, but you know, the main service is FedEx. I know those, yeah. We yeah. have those so here too. It's easier to 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 you know to promote because it already has a name. Aside from that, and when I entered the franchise, and uh, like what you said, they're really very helpful, quite comprehensive training and anything that you need to do they will tell you and what you don't need to do so yeah, yeah. it's very uh, educational at the same time since like i said it's in the blood that we all care for the elderly you know and so this is the right you know uh, business right place for, for you yeah, and for yeah. maybe a lot of people uh you have been quoted as saying that this franchise focuses on the wellness, not on the illness. Yes, so with yeah. that, I'd like to really point out that this is the kind of thing you need to get started before you are concentrating on illness. You need to keep your focus on the wellness and staying well. Yes. And that's yeah. what's so important. And that's why people sometimes they wait much too long and you know they when you wait too long you you know whether you're in charge of your own situation or somebody else the mm -hmm. elderly or the older older because i'm talking about people like myself and my own age being 75 uh you know are missing out on quality of life yeah. and you can't get that back what's yeah. gone yesterday is gone yeah, because if you focus on the illness, it will stress you out and it will make you more ill. But, you know, if you look at the wellness and that will make it easier for the for the client, for the caregiver, 
it, it's the same thing because as you as you mentioned I'm I'm from the engineering background it's the same thing we concentrate on the solution not on the problem so that's how it goes that's why we have a very nice slogan that's one of those that we concentrate on the wellness not on the illness and every time the family members of our prospective client hears about that you you, you will get their trust already they, they will uh, find out that you're yeah. very serious in the wellness yeah i understand you visit your clients every couple of weeks with yellow roses or bunk yeah. cake yeah. If it were me, yeah, please, bunk cake, bunk yeah. cake, please, for me. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I do minor handyman work for them. All right. You know how important that is to some of these people <laughs> and their family? That is, In fact, can you come over to my house next week or so? You can Why be not? in the area. Why not? I've got, I've yeah. got a few things need being done, but I'm kidding, of course. But, you know. <laughs> Yeah, but I keep on telling the clients that uh, I will try to fix it, but if not, you have to call the expert. But in most cases, I, uh, I'm kind of successful in doing that. Yeah. Seems like you're successful at almost everything. Is that true? Come well, on, now. Uh, you can tell us. <laughs> hard to say, but I could maybe I could tell that I'm living um, the life that I'm expecting. You know, like. You know, I'm happy and uh, I feel a little secured when it comes to finances. But and um, and in this business, of course, we we prioritize also in serving. You know, serving the community right. and serving the elderly. And you know, income is just secondary. You know. Yeah. Now you have one office in uh, Las Vegas. It's kind of. I mean, after all, it's. It's not that large. You don't need more than one to cover everybody in the whole area. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. What? Where is that business? I'm only saying because you know I know the city well, and I used to have several offices there myself be before I, you know, before I became a husband. Mm -hmm. Actually, we're located in the medical district near UMC. Oh, it's, okay. Uh, yeah, the cross street is the, uh, the Charleston Boulevard and Valley View. So oh, it's okay. a medical district, uh, the center of Las Vegas, yeah. Yeah. So know, uh, it's a very strategic area. place, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Charleston, right? That's, uh, mm -hmm. you take that out to the old uh, Red Rocks area. Correct. Or you can switch off there and go up to Mount Charleston, you know, which is, Correct. you know, snow all... But you know, I had I fell in the snow one year in Las Vegas. So you get uh, you get uh, seasons, which a lot of people don't realize. You get seasons. Uh, yeah, the snow up in Mount Charleston uh, up to April. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But and I, very few people know that. But I I had snow in the city itself back mm -hmm. about 20 years ago, I think. Yeah, and it happens once in a while. Correct. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. kind of run us through what it would take somebody, you know, even my age or thinking of retiring and not, you know, maybe getting into something else, or maybe they know somebody younger, but you know, much different. Tell us kind of the steps you would go through to become a uh, a one heart uh, owner franchise. of a franchise uh -huh. or franchisee, as you would call it, a successful one which I yeah. think you all are. Actually, it's very easy. They could um, visit our website, you know, oneheartcares.com, and uh, they could browse and they will find their uh, old contacts, all the branches out there on the website, and they could call directly Randy, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah, and um, he will explain everything, what he did to me before, all the uh, aspects, of owning a franchise and uh, what kind of business they're they're be getting into, and all the questions they're gonna ask, uh, Randy has all the answers. So uh, hey, you they, have they several. Wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why don't we Why don't we take a minute here because the time's going by. We're half done, believe it or not. Uh -huh. um, give us all of your contact information and Randy's again. But you know there may be some that are listening or know from Las Vegas and, you know, maybe they need some caregiving or they know somebody in Las Vegas. So don't leave yourself out of that. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, I could be reached through the fastest way is through my cell phone. It's a 702-485-9781. And it's open 24-7 if I don't respond. And I will return the call as soon as I can. You know, in this kind of industry, we should be 24-7. Right. And we have an office. The uh, office phone number is 702-330-9315. And uh, yeah, they could call that number anytime uh, during the week, Monday to Friday. And if Saturday, Sunday, that call will be forwarded to my cell phone as well. Go, yeah. oh, that's great. And if you're a much younger person and you've had uh, a problem uh, at the casino, they can also call you for care, right? Yeah, <laughs> anytime, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, we also provide transportation service. Sometimes I give it for free. Yeah. Well, and you and you repair things too. Yeah. So go ahead and, and give I enjoy, Randy's. I enjoy doing that as well. Yeah. Go ahead and give Randy's contact information again, please. Also. Uh, okay. Hold on. I, yeah. You can reach Randy. Hold on. I don't. Nobody and, memorizes. And nobody the reason memorizes. we're bringing up Randy is because Randy is the head of the franchising department, correct? Yes. Yeah. Uh, he is the uh, director for the franchising, yeah. And uh, uh, his direct number is 805-338-8100. Uh, 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 Randy Clarito, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, he's the guy, you know, he's the man, yeah. Well, so, from uh, what I understand, yeah. you are also the man, so. And then you yeah, would I'm definitely... the house band. I, I'm the house band. Yeah, and you would definitely consider One Heart to be different from other companies, correct? Yeah, I should say, yeah, because you, aside from we provide quality in home care and, you know, we, we give extra mileage, like, you know, that no other agency could do. And um, especially, you know, this elderly, sometimes they, they need, you know, uh, affection, you know, like love. Mm. So sometimes they don't get it from their family members, so we will be the one to give it to them. Oh, you'd be surprised because uh, I work with, uh, you know, several uh, elder care attorneys and you would be surprised what you just said is true. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, so. Unfortunately, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because so actually, think... during the time that we were, first time we meet the client or the patient is, uh, I'm going to ask, do you have family members? like daughter or son, and they're going to say, yeah, I do, but they don't care. No. So that's hard. So, yeah. So that's why we have to, you know, give them the best quality of life remaining to them, you know. Yeah, because, service. you know, we all feel like we have life remaining. I mean, I'm only 75, so I figure I'll make it to 105, but you never know, right? Yeah, yeah. But, you, and, you, if you're gonna it has ask, to do with uh, attitude, and if you have the right attitude and quality of life, you want to live longer. And, and if you're gonna ask how old my dad is, how? Oh, let me let me think of a good question for you. Uh, how old is your father, by the way? Only ninety-six. All right, ninety-six. That's no quick, that's... no cane, no walker, no wheelchair. I've been using a walker lately, but that's because of my operations, and I lost and 100 still, pounds. Right? Oh but, you know, and I've got uh, a couple of clients I've had, but I have one active client right now, well into his 90s, no walker. Mm -hmm. um, really sharp. I mean, it, it's, you know, the only reason I bring up his age is to brag about him. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he even did a whole loan application on DocuSign over his phone. And mm -hmm. I can't, I can't get a 35 year old to do that. So, you know, <laughs> Imagine, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. And my dad still drive a stick shift. Wow. Well, still drives at all is the big thing. Yeah. Wow. Well, that, yeah. that is I great. S but I you know what? I yeah. That's because he has family members that care about him. And if there's even somebody that doesn't, you know, one one thing we haven't covered with several calls with yourself and healthcare providing providers in general is family love. We talk about, you know, um, 
you know, the, uh, the whatever of daily living, of feeding yourself, of going to the bathroom, of doing the, but we don't cover family love as one of those things that really yeah, do cool. need to be made up for if it doesn't exist already. That's so the most important, important thing, actually. Actually, you are right. And that's just more reason why, you know, how, how big the need is for what you are doing. And that has to do with the fact that I think 20 million people are turning 65 every day. I think that's an exaggeration, but who cares? There's a lot of people growing older all the time. And yeah, baby even, boomers. Yeah, even I'm one of the earliest baby boomers. I'm still booming. And uh, <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. The, the uh, you know, but I don't want people to think that because you need a uh, you need a, a healthcare company that you're not giving love to your elderly parents or family. That's just one of so many reasons. Those people though need to know that they have whatever they need or want to do. They should be able to do during any during the time of the day when that's normally done. So you know. And, and the fact that so many people are growing old is, uh, you know, it's huge. And people are living older and we're getting better and better health care. I just had robotic surgery, uh, which allowed me to get out of the hospital much quicker and to get back to my life. And, you know, 10, 20 years ago, that didn't exist. So, I mean, it's great that that exists and it's great that we are living longer, but my God, don't think you can live forever without that walker. Now, in your father's case, he may need to be 115, but Up to don't, his target is 120. don't let anything get in your way. If you need to walk, use a walker. If you need to be rolled somewhere, use a wheelchair. I like the I like the calling those electrified ones electric chairs. But you know, yeah, right, the motorized. You know, yeah. don't be ashamed of what you have out there. Sometimes I'll use a walker just because it has a seat on it, and I'm going someplace that it's really crowded. <laughs> and that's you know, so you know, so the need for companies like one heart is enormous right yeah so if you're yeah, we going have a continuous education actually if one heart. Yeah. yeah and you guys have a uh, a university correct for your own yeah the one heart university yeah mm -hmm. and if that one heart university will teach someone who's getting into the business and it's also ongoing i'm sure they have uh yeah. continuing education as they call it right. in the Mm -hmm. uh, but they're going to teach you everything you need to know or the people you want to hire or whoever you want to be partnered with. You're going to learn how to get business. You're going to learn how to keep business. You're going to learn the accounting part of it, which isn't going to kill you because I'm sure they have help and they have software for all of that. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, from so from the um, uh, like the attendance of the caregivers. And yeah. everything, it's it's all there. They will they will teach you everything, you know. But one thing that needs to come from inside you is what you are already good at, and that's the customer service. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, that's really the number one thing is servicing the elderly, and so many more people are becoming elderly that you know. Well, what can I say? I'm still around. Look at me. I don't think of myself as elderly because I don't look at myself very often. <laughs> I try not to do that on purpose. Okay. So, uh -huh. so there, but, uh, you really like what you're doing though, right? Yes. Yes. Every day, every single day. Yeah. It's so rewarding. It's self. -rewarding. And I, I like the part of, uh, I have a schedule usually to Wednesday and Thursday to visit the clients, the, the, the you know, the current mm -hmm. clients. That's my schedule. So you're, you're already expecting that I, I will be there Wednesday or Thursday. And you bring your toolkit with you, right? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And actually, in addition to the to, to the franchise, you know, you know, the One Heart franchise, they, they're also open to changes, you know. If, 
like right now there's a pandemic so you know the 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 company should adjust to how to handle the situation yeah, yeah because you know it's a, there's a saying that you know the best way to improve is to change and the best way to perfection is constant change so that's what the winston Church, churchill said so yeah. and one heart is really they're always willing to adjust whatever the situation is so right. that's why we're always be there and up to now we're we're surviving in, because of this what happening right now in the world but we're you know we're still strong yeah yeah and uh, our clients are happy because you know we're the, the service is still there even better and uh that's all it takes and it's easy to do that yeah as long as you have yeah. the passion to do it and and you have the passion and i think most people have the passion to want to stay busy Mm -hmm. So, you know, not, staying busy doesn't mean you have to have your own business. But in many cases, people are entrepreneurs. They want to have the freedom of having their own business to, to be able to hire people to help them do things. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, so this is so important to stay busy, to help our own community of the elderly. I'll put myself in there. I just mm -hmm. can't. But, no, you know, if. Yet. <laughs> this has got to be the number one or one of the number one other than going into reverse mortgages like I have uh, <laughs> I did that six years ago and you know haven't looked back at all and so uh, we know why you chose one heart because uh, one heart has the best reputation mm -hmm. uh, out there and you're ready to jump on that so and it's like a plug, a plug-in kind of, isn't it? It's just you plug mm -hmm. and play. You put. So before we're done, which we're just about done, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. uh, and I really, really appreciate you being here, and love to have you back to hear more about your own situation, your your own uh, business, your own uh, office instead of one heart in general, which I know we did this time. Mm -hmm. But go ahead, and first of all. Uh, give us how people can get a hold of you in case they have relatives in Las Vegas that can really make use of your services. Yeah, actually, like I said, they can call me through my cell phone and um, or they could visit the website. And But I prefer calling to my cell phone so I could talk to them right away. Right. And, um, you know, it's one of the best thing that I want to do is to give them a personalized service, you know, like uh, doing it in person or like, you know, at least you can get their trust right away when you when you're the one talking to them. And, for, and yeah, uh, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but, you know, if you are thinking of getting into the business, I know we gave out Randy's information, but let's say instead of talking to somebody in charge of franchising let's say you want to talk to a franchisee him or herself and especially one who's very open uh mm -hmm. you know they could call you also correct yes yes actually i already did uh the one um the new franchise we have in san francisco yeah i oh, gave all right. a, lot, a lot of inputs with them the ups and down, I tell them, the, don't be upset. There, there will be ups and down, but it's how you're gonna manage or handle it. And I will be here in the corporate office to help, you know. And I'm willing to help because, you know, when I was starting, uh, people helped me too, especially the corporate office. Yeah, you're so, not gonna be left alone in this at all. But for <laughs> me, I really, really wanna thank you so much since our time is actually up, believe it or not. Oh, mm-hmm. And I hope you've done a great job and you've done a great job for one heart and for yourself and family. <laughs> and I that I appreciate you very, very much. And thank you very, very much. And let's hope to have Anytime. you back soon. So Anytime. I'll just phone uh, phone away. Mm -hmm. So as Groucho once said, I'm not crazy about reality, but it's still the only way to a decent meal. So uh, mm -hmm. with that, I will sign off and uh, be back. Be back in just a few minutes after the news. 
One Heart will be here to sing the blues for you at the bottom of the four o'clock hour. So don't go away and keep watching. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.